Alrighty. Praise God, praise God. You guys are back. Let's see. Alrighty. Okay. Praise God, praise God. I am waiting till I see people on here. So let me see. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and tell you my title. My title is, oh my God, this is so deep. This is so deep. This is so deep. My God, I, I got to pray. I got to pray first. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Do everybody that's going to listen. Oh no. Uh -uh. Hold on. I stay strapped. I also sell oral. And yes, it's biblical. Y'all be coming at me. <laughs> Y'all don't know I stay ready. Y'all don't read your Bible. That's what that is. That's what that's showing me. I'm starting to realize that. People don't read their Bible, so they don't know. So they just attack. So I'm doing this for a reason. Praise God. Praise God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, everything that I talk about, Father God, I pray, Father God, that people are understanding, that they get wisdom and discernment, Father God, that it gets in their spirit how powerful this subject is, Father God. Protect them, keep them, Father God, and grow them in the spirit. Spiritual maturity in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Use me, God. Use me, God, for your glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Y'all, this is so much information. My God, my God. I'm going to have to take my time. I'm going to have to take my time for y'all to, to get it because I, I wanted to pierce your soul like it did mine. So, started on me at 4 o'clock this morning. Well, actually, this has been going on for about I would say almost two weeks. God said, I, I need you to really break this down to my people. I knew it, but I didn't know like I know. My God, my God, my God. Y'all, hold on a minute. My God, my God. Let me tell y'all what's going on. I'm going to have to walk this thing out. Holy Ghost, have your way. None of me, just of you. Show me how to, because they, they need to understand it. They need to apply it and, and tell others. All right, so. I'm going to start this way. I'm 53. So that means that I was born in 68. When I was first born, I remember looking at Leave it to Beaver, Little House on the Prairie. Um, what else? I think um, something about angels, Charlie Angels. You know, it, it was pretty much it was pretty much things that on TV that it was um, the Dukes of Hazzard. It was fun. It was clean. There was no cursing. I'm going to say it again. There was no cursing. There was no sexual activities on TV, television. Now, I got to walk this thing out. So, hold on. I got to do it the way God said. So, each thing I'm going to break down. I have to break down. I have to break down. Hold on. So, this is not going to be um, a hopping and hooping. I got this is a teaching video. And, it, and I'm going to have to teach it the way. Oh, God, I got so much information. I got to teach it the way God want me to. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so this is, I got a lot of information, you guys, and I got to do this right. Television. Teleport. 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 Television. Vision. So whatever I'm looking at, it enters in. So let me, let me walk this thing out. Remember in 1982, those that are my age are older. And those that are younger I want you to go ahead and, you know, if you want to research this. It started, it didn't start with this. No, I got to go back. Hold on. I got to go back to the beginning, you guys. Hold on. Okay, that's it. He want me to start from the beginning. I got to start from the beginning. Okay. All right. The way people watch television has changed dramatically. Since the medium, notice what it says, medium. The television is more powerful than you think. Medium. What's a medium? Medium is them psychics, right? Spirit. Spirit. So I, I'm going to break it down. So bear with me. And that's another thing. Have patience in this video because you're going to learn so much that I'm telling you. It's going to blow your mind. All right. So the way people watch television has changed dramatically. Since the medium first burst out onto the scene, the 1940s and 50s, and forever transformed American life. I want you to let that sink in for a moment. The television changed us, what we saw. The television changed this whole world, turned it upside down. <laughs> Hold on. TV technology has steadily advanced. Color arrived in 1960s, because you remember before it was just black and white. 
followed by cable in the 70s. VCRs in the 80s and high definition in the late 90s. In the 21st century, viewers are just as likely to watch shows on cell phones, laptops, and tablets as TV set. Amazingly, however, all these technical changes were essentially put improvements on the basic system that has worked since the late 1930s, with roots reaching even further back than that. All right, now. It says that um, the television origins can be traced to the 1830s and 40s when Samuel F. B. Moore developed the telegraph. Telegraph. Understand. I'm going to break it down. The system of sending messages translated into beeping sounds. So all of it is about sounds and frequency. Oh, th th this thing going to take a minute. So I pray I pray y'all have a patient spirit because y'all know y'all attention stand. Y'all like stuff like that, but I can't do it that way. Not this. The system of sending messages telegrated into beeping sounds along with wires. Another important step forward came in 1876 in the form of Alexandra Graham Bell's telephone, which allowed the human voice to travel through wires over long distances. Okay, Both Bell and Thomas Edison speculated about the possibility of telephone-like devices that could transmit images as well as sound. Okay, but it was a German researcher who looked the next important step toward developing the technology that made television possible in 1884. His name was Paul Nipka. Came up with a system of sending images through wires venting via spinning discs. Mm, remember those records? He called it electronic telescope, but it was essentially as early form of mechanical television. All right. Now, TV goes electronic with cathode ray tubes. In the, earth, or in the early 1900s, both Russian physicists Boris Rosen and Scottish engineer Alan Archibald Campbell Swinton worked independently to improve on Nipka's system, so they, they worked to better it. By replacing the spinning disk with cathode ray tubes, a technology developed earlier by German physicists Car Braun. Swinton's system was placed cathode ray tubes inside the camera that sent a picture as well as inside the receiver was essentially the earliest all-electronic television system. Russian-born engineer Valimar Sokon had worked on Rosen's assistance before, before them and emigrated following the Russian Revolution in 1923. Sorkin was employed at the Pittsburgh-based manufacturing company, Westinghouse, when he applied for his first television patent for the linoscope, which used cathode codes to, to transmit messages and images. Meanwhile, Scottish engineer John Baird gave the world's first demonstration of true television before 50 scientists in central London in 1927. With his new invention, Baird formed the Baird Television Development Company, and in 1928, it achieved its first transatlantic um, cathode group tubes to transmit images. Meanwhile, Scottish engineer John Berg gave the world's first demonstration again, and this is what he did. London and New York were the first transmission to ship mid-Atlantic bears and also created with giving the demonstration of both color and sterile, stereoscopic television. So the first televisions were in London and New York. That's very important. Remember that London and New York, because guess what? Those are both portals for demons high portals the home for their portals all right okay so that's pretty much how tv was but let me a little, a little bit more in western okay so now let me now i'm gonna have to hold on y'all okay now i gotta go so that's how television was actually formed now let me tell you oh god okay got to do it that way alistair crowley crowley right let's let, let's talk about this man for a while alistair crowley Edward Alexander Crowley, Crowley Crowley, was born October 12th, October 1874, all right, and he died 1947. He was an English occultist, ceremonial musician, poet, painter, novelist, mountaineer. He founded the religion of Thalama, identified himself as a prophet. Now y'all understand why there's so many false prophets? All right, entrusted with gu guiding humanity into Eon of Horus, into the Eye of Horus. Don't that sound all familiar? The Illuminati and stuff like that? Okay. In early into the 20th century, he was a prolific writer. He published 
a wide variety of things over the course. Okay, but what he was was a Satanist. All right, so I'm going to try to make this thing a little bit more, because um, I know y'all don't, don't like a lot of information. Y'all just don't. Well, Crowley gained widespread nor notoriety during his lifetime as being a recreational drug user and bisexual. Now y'all understand why them spirits been them, them spirits been around a long time. So let's go. So Crowley has remained a highly influential figure. He's a, a Satanist and a cultist, okay? All right, so inside of the wickedest man in the world, that's what they call him. They say eerie photos came up that how he was painting a pentagram on his floor and he was summoning things. Okay, so now let's see if I can just go off the hip because I, I, I know y'all don't like, y'all just don't, you know, people start, um, okay. So now we're going to talk about sound. I have to, I have to do it that way before I get into the big thing. Sound. Sound is a type of energy. Now we know why everybody all of a sudden talking about energy. You're really talking about transferring the demons, but you want to talk about energy. I, I'm against that word. You can say what you want. I'm against it. I don't care. I don't care because I understand it's a wordplay. I'm going to say it again. This world, say, satanic world, is wordplay. Listen to the words. Ask God what they're saying. Sound is a type of energy made by vibrations. When an object vibrates, it causes movement in surrounding air molecules. These molecules bump into the molecules close to them, causing them to vibrate as well. This chain reaction movement is called sound waves keep going until the molecules run out of energy so that's how sound okay all right let me continue you guys sound is produced when the object vibrates i already said that right okay so now let's go to how sound is explained what is sound sound in physiology sound is produced when an object vibration moves through a medium now y'all understand how tv was made it was moved through a medium and they enter the human eardrum Let's pause. So the sound vibrations from TV in the your eardrum. Just like those games. Just like all those games. Oh, I'm about to break this thing down so good. I, I got to slow it down because I, I, uh -uh, I'm hitting Satan in the head with this one. I'm sick of him. Hold on a minute. Okay, so sound is produced in the form of a pressure wave. Pressure. Pressure. When an object vibrates, it causes, I got to make this bigger, I'm sorry. It causes the surrounding of the air molecules vibrating, igniting a chain reaction of sound waves. Vibrations through the medium, while the physiological definition includes a subject's reception of the sound. In physics, it defini if, I'm sorry, it defines, recognizes that it exists independently of an individual's reception so it, you're receiving everything so what is a sound wave in physics it is okay now we're going to talk about types of sound infrasonic sounds a infrasonic sound has frequency below 20 hertz which makes them audible to the human ear scientists use infrared sound to detect earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, to map rock and patrol. But oh, this thing just went off. Oh, they, oh, my phone just, what the heck? I rebuked that. Satan, get up out of here. Okay, I found it back. Oh, my God. Okay, so through medium, air, water, or solids. To have vibrational motion, as the partides vibrate, they move nearly particles, transmitting the sound further through the medium. The human ear... The human ear receives the frequency. Oh, I, I, oh I'm about to. Okay, hold on, y'all. All right, so y'all pretty much got the foundation. I, I just want to get that foundation out, right? Y'all don't need all this. That, that was just for me. I like to read things. I like to know what I'm talking about. All right, now I can go off the hill because I understand. A lot of people don't like to read and stuff like that, right? All right, so, let, so I already explained to you what sound was. So this is what happened. Alistair Crowley, the Satanist. Thank you, Lord. There's one thing you want me to go back to. The beginning of this movie. Hold on. And I want, this is what I was talking about, the research. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Because y'all going to understand when y'all go research it. Now, the ones my age, you don't have to research it because we all remember this movie. Hold on. All right. So y'all remember the movie Poltergeist? Remember, when, don't, go, don't go by the thing, Carol Ann. Everybody, everybody was saying it. Even I was saying it. All right. Now, Poltergeist is a 1982 American supernatural horror film 
um, directed by Tobe Hooper and written by Steven Spielberg. I think Steven Spielberg is, a, is straight up a demon. I don't care what y'all say, because he could. In, in, in it, you gotta understand. Whatever possesses a man or a woman, they write it out, they sing it out, they talk it out, they act it out. Yeah, everybody's possessed with some type of spirit, whether it's good or bad. Come on, somebody, let's continue. So anyway, Poltergeist was a film about a suburban family whose home was invaded by male violent ghosts that abducted their daughter. Now, they say this is a true story. I, I really believe that it is a true story. I remember Poltergeist. Now we're going to talk about white noise, white noise. Hold on. White noise, I got to give you that last definition, then I'm going to go off the hill. Got to tell you what white noise is. I got so much stuff, y'all got to bear with me. Because when I do search something, I research it. I'm talking about I go to the, to the origin. So let me get this white noise for y'all. Hold on. All right, white noise. Okay, white noise. It actually, depending on the frequency, it makes it messes with your brain, the center focus. As a matter of fact, it will stop your concentration and memory. However, being exposed to white noise over a long term. So white noise is a frequency. Oh, hold on. Let me go. Before I go off the hip, I got one more thing to, to tell y'all. Then I'm going to go off the hip. Where is it? Okay, right here. Y'all going so, to catch this, I know. So, the first thing, I, and I want y'all to write this down or put it in your mental note. The movie Divergent. When I looked at that movie years ago, and God, to, God the one that tells me to look at movies, that's just what's going to happen. If you haven't looked at Divergent, you need to go see it because that's just what's getting ready to happen. Okay, now let me tell you why. It explains everything. The RFID chip. <laughs> Do you know that thing is like a grain of rice? You can't even see it. And I'm sure they probably have even compounded it more to like maybe a mustard seed. You, you're not going to be able to see it. That means, oh, Lord, they're not going to like me. Lord, they're not going to like me. That means if you, put a if you put a cotton swab up your nose for testing, I wonder what's on that swab. I wonder what they're trying to do. Oh. Anyway, a RFID is a radio frequency identification device. What does it do? It takes a type of tracking system, and it uses radio frequency to search, identify, track, and communicate with the items and the people. I truly believe some of the things that are happening right now in the demonic room and the natural room, people just popping off and snapping people. I think they've been chipped. I don't care what you say. I'm telling you what God say. I don't care what nobody say. I'm listening to God and y'all know it too. People just don't snap. Let me say that again. People just don't snap. If you have been implanted with that, they had a woman in Georgia. Y'all need to research it. They had a woman in Georgia that was implanted, and she had to go to court to get unimplanted. Something happened where she had surgery, and she must have said, yeah, and then she didn't know what it caused, but it started causing her so much pain in her body, she hearing things. And I'm telling you, it was right here in Georgia. I don't remember her name. Maybe I could put it in the comments when I go back and find it. That woman had to go to court to get that out of her system because she had said yes to the doctor. And then when she found out what it did, she wanted it out of her body. She said it was making her do things, think things, see th Y'all get the drift? All right. So, and guess what else it could do? It's called a smart label. <laughs> a smart label. Smartphone, smart label. That can store a range of information. All right. Now let me go off the hill. So I still got to take it slow. Alistair Crowley. He found out how to summon demons through televisions. As a matter of fact, he, he, was, he was already talking to him. He was already talking to him. As a matter of fact, he comes from, from, from the lineage of the royal family. So y'all already know what time it is. Y'all don't like when I say this, but I really don't care because that means that, guess what? Either you, you are deceived or you just don't want to know the truth or you're them people or you're with them. Point blank in the story. There are two kingdoms. Y'all act like we're just living in this world and we're working and we go going to church and we, stop playing. The enemy has an illusion. This, All this stuff is an illusion. 
to take you away from God and, and stop you from seeing in the spirit what's really going on. There are two kingdoms. Either you belong to the kingdom of God or the kingdom of darkness. Stop playing. There's no in between. There is no in between. There is no in between. Point blank in the story. Now, let me tell you what Aleister Crowley did. He asked the demons, he said, how can we pull you into this world, into this world? Now remember, the Bible says that he's the prince of the air. They did it through the sound of the television, the white noise. So they turned it on a certain channel, a certain frequency, and the demons said, we can come in through there. Y'all understand how they got here? How they opened portals? This is how they opened the portals. This is how they opened portals in every major city. That's why Chicago, ooh, ooh, don't get me started on Chicago. Y'all know that, that man from Chicago? No, I like y'all to know who I'm talking about either. Because y'all get mad when I say his name like I care. The president, the ex-president. Why y'all think there's so much death in Chicago? Because Chicago is known as a sacrifice agent. I don't understand, but guess what? Let me, let me, let me keep explaining this stuff to y'all. So the frequency of the sound, it gives you information. Kill, kill, steal, steal, destroy, destroy. Oh, let's go back. I remember when I was looking at Leave it to Beaver, Little House on the Prairie, all these little nice movies. Then they start incorporating, and they use black people to do it, so it ain't, it ain't even about color, but they, they use us to do a lot of stuff. We're the face of a lot of evil. Yeah, I say what I say, how I say what I say. And y'all are wondering, oh, you, you, you're talking about, yeah, I surely am. And ain't scared of none of you. Because I'm going to tell what God said to tell it. So anywho, boys in the hood, drive-bys. So everything you see on television, you're not just watching it. You're hearing a reception because your brain has frequency too. Uh, and, and it's receiving the, the message. And the message is kill, 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 still, still, still. Everything that the devil wants you to do, why do you think people do it? That's why the Bible tells you to guard your eye gates, your ear gates, and your all the gates. Don't act like you don't know what I'm saying. My God, my God, we've all been deceived. We're just looking at TV as if it's, if it's not affecting you. That's why God don't let me look at, like, I haven't really looked at regular TV since I don't even know when. People say, you don't look at the news. When God want me to know something, he sends me to YouTube or, or, or you know, he, he'll let me know. I'll go straight to what I need to know so I can pray about that thing. So the frequency, I want y'all to understand what the frequency now, now I know why they need 5G. Now I know why they, 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 they brought up this COVID thing. Y'all got to look at that movie Divergent. I, after doing this research, there's no one that can tell me that the people are not planning the Divergent. Where those, okay, what happened in Divergent, I'll just tell you a little bit of it. Where they put something behind their neck, like a chip, I guess. And they turned it on. And they had a master control. And those people, their son about to kill people. And they was doing it until the lady, now the divergent is, a, I, I'm going to call it how God showed it to me, it's the Christians. We can't be affected, not if we are totally surrendered. That's what I got out the movie because there were certain people that it didn't work on. None of their antics worked on them. So they called them divergent and they was looking to kill them all. So, but the ones that it did work on, they were, it was a mass murdering technique. That's what God say they doing. They are mass murdering technique. Listen to me. This is straight from the throne of God. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. And this is a teaching video. So don't come up here. But, oh, you prophesying what you have uncovered. This teaching. So God was telling me, he said, that's why they need it in your system to control you. And they're doing it by any means. So they made this fake COVID. Yes, they did. I don't care what you say. Pray. I don't want to install Phil. Pray when you put that thing up your, up your nose. Pray when you take that shot. You don't know what's in that shot. Y'all sitting up there just taking everything. I'm just being real with you. The devil don't like us. Never did. So let's go back to Aleister Crowley. So he summoned these demons. So these demons are here. And now they've opened up other portals. So the television is, a, is nothing but a big portal for demons. My God, if I'd have known that years ago, I'd have told y'all. I mean, I knew it was bad, that, that some things were bad were being transferred. So this is how they've gotten our children. This is how they've gotten some of us. And what I, I'm going to put myself in it because I wasn't always saved. When we started looking at those things, 
Oh, I'm going here. I'm going here. I got to go all the way. I can't hold back. I can't hold back. Hallelujah. Time too short. When we start looking at these high priests and witches, y'all know all of them, the top, the top ones in Hollywood, Kardashians, the high priestess B, I ain't going to say her name, her whole name. I don't, uh uh-uh, shouldn't have saved the Kardashians. Y'all wonder why Travis Scott, Travis Scott did not do that alone. I, 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 I'm telling you, God got me so high up in spiritual warfare, I can detect a witch or a warlock. Sometimes we're not even looking. I remember I was walking at Walmart and I just turned around. So I can, I can feel it. He don't have that, that much power. He has power, but not that much. God showed me that they were underneath having a, having a seance and they, and they were, that's what, but y'all couldn't see him. And that's why he knew what was going to happen. That stuff was, they opened up a portal in front of everybody and killed people. And we are still, the church is still quiet. Huh. Let me continue before I get sidetracked. So it's just open portal. Y'all wondering why these young men are killing each other. The other open portal is the music, the sound. Now I already did a, a video about that. Go look, you, you have to go look at maybe a couple of years ago. I, t I said about how music, how David, King David could not use certain music. Uh, let me break it down for you. Certain instruments make you want to move your body. Uh, uh, Y'all remember, I used to dance. Everybody used to dance. Come on. Remember, so, but some of that music made you want to be lustful and have sex. Huh? Don't lie. Let's keep it real hundred. Some of that music still wants you to have sex. And... So they know what they're doing. They've changed the frequency, God says. Because God had a certain frequency for everybody. So the enemy came and perverted the frequency. Oh, I got to go. Even the frequency in gospel music. Oh, uh, come on, somebody. It's whatever you hear because it's receiving information and it's telling you what to do. So you, you're being programmed. There it is. We're being programmed. That's why the masses are programmed. That's why everybody buy Michael Kors. And, and, and let me go back to the witches and the warlocks. So the, the witches started wearing flesh because back in... Little leave it to beaver. They didn't have no flesh open like that. They didn't have them, you know, they weren't wearing them types of clothes. They have programmed America. They have programmed the whole world to look like a certain way, to talk like a certain way, to think like a certain way, to dress like a certain way. If you don't have money, go kill, steal, and rob. Don't you understand that people have been programmed? So now God is sending his servants to deprogram people. Ah. Oh. Now you understand? And, and they don't want the pure ones to go over the airwaves. Because in our voice is the spirit of God, the power of God, the presence of God. It'll break that stuff. Hallelujah, it'll break it off you. So they keep the fake ones. I'm sorry. I, I, I got to say it like God said. If I offend somebody, oh well. This is God's stuff. And I ain't playing with it. God wants you to know the truth. What they doing, how they doing, what they doing. That's why it's so important for you to watch and, and watch your kids, what they're listening to. Now I know why kids are killing their parents, their mama. How, I, I'm still, I, I still don't even understand how the boy in California riding in the car with his mama and his mama must have said something and he shot her in the back of the head in the car. That's satanic. Hallelujah. And, 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 that, and that's from a, a frequency. Oh, I'm about to go here. I'm about to go here. So it's not just TV. It's music. Those are the two mediums. Notice, mediums. Trans, teleport, trans, trans, telegraph. It's teaching you what to say. It's teaching you what to do. It's teaching you how to dress. It's teaching you how to act. These people are open up all these portals. They got so many portals, it's not even funny. And plus, they I don't care what you say, they putting stuff in people, them RFID chips. There was one story. I think it was um, about five years ago, where this man killed his whole family. His family still today trying to figure out what happened. I don't know who that man was with. I don't know what he listened to, because I told y'all this when I was in Hollywood. But y'all don't. I don't know if y'all not listening. You could have a bottle of water, and it's so say not open, right? What if they put a clear chip in here? And don't act like they ain't make no clear chips, because if it smell like a, a grain of rice, it's not gonna look like a. a it's not gonna look like a RFID. Them people know what to do here. They've been doing it for a long time. That's how they're getting people and bringing them to them cloning centers. It could be an a, a open bottle of water. And that's how they're getting some of the stars to collaborate with them. And they popped it and they think, oh, I just popped it. People make this. So they could put something in there. You drink that. You go out. 
You implanted, just like that man in Lafayette, Louisiana, just walked into the movie theater and just started killing people. It's like that little white boy that shot up that church in Charleston. I'm telling you what God showed me. I don't care who believed me or who not. Go to God. That boy was chipped. That's why they don't remember what they've done. And, and we looking at like, oh, yeah, you, you know what you did. Yeah, he did it. But what influenced him? What turned him on? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all need to get this. When I was in L.A., I remember the Grand, Auto, the, the Grand Theft Auto, the first game that they made with blood killing people. So God showed me how they do that. In the game, while they're playing the game, a frequency, you need to kill. You need to learn to kill. They have been trans programming our children to kill. That's what they've been doing. I knew it. I play a little games with Austin, my grandson. He's five years old. I took pictures. I'm going to put them in the comments. Okay? They have a one eye. They have, the games are so violent. But you know what the one eye, the all-seeing eye? They've been programming these kids. That's why those games make them violent. <laughs> and you've been being programmed too, God says. I'm, I gotta go here. I ain't against nobody. Y'all gotta understand, my heart is for God. But if you get hit, you get hit. Period. And if I get hit, I get hit. I don't care. Anybody could get it. Truth is truth. One of the reasons God told me to stop my CD, and I'm just being real, I never proclaimed to be the best singer, but I'm anointed. He said, gospel music has been watered down. If we don't feel the spirit of God and it's teaching the kingdom of God, it's not of God. And that's in any capacity, anything and anybody and anyone. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Even this. Y'all heard that? I know y'all heard that, right? I ain't never heard my own. Um, my own. Um, I ain't never heard. <laughs> I ain't never heard my computer do that. Y'all heard that? Whatever. Because I know y'all don't like me teaching this. I'm not stupid. So, as God, even this is a medium. You have to be careful. YouTube is a medium. What am I saying? They are, they, 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 they're trying to possess you, people of God. They're trying to possess you to do bad things, to see bad things, to know bad things, to change your DNA. They're trying to take you from God. End of story. The devil knows he has but a short time. So his thing is, I'm going to take as many with me to hell as I can. That's the end of that story. And God is putting people like myself and other people, because I'm not the only one that's anointed. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, to warn you and to tell you how they do it, why they do it, and how they do it. It is very imperative from this day forth. I don't care if it's a television. I don't care if it's radio. I don't care if it's through your phone. Please watch what your children are listening to, even if they're trying to sneak do it. This is how our children are also getting missing. It's not just predators. It's demons that are luring our children to this and that. And, and all because of what they see on TV. See how these rappers killing each other? They, I know what they did, how they did it. I saw this years ago. Let's give them so much money and then let's pay them to kill each other. <laughs> and it's not just black. If you don't have the elite bloodline, you can get it anytime. As a matter of fact, they destroy their own. So who are you? Because some of y'all are plants. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going in today. Some of y'all are plants. What are plants? You work for the FBI, the DEA, whatever, them three-letter boys. And you think you're doing a good service and, and that you're, that ain't even your mandate. I can show you what your mandate is because I'm going to say it to the day I die. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. And that ain't your God. And y'all doing some dirty stuff to people of God. And God going to get you. That's that prophet finger. I know what I'm doing. That's that prophet finger. Because I ain't playing with y'all. Y'all don't understand the power of God. But you will, God says. For some money and some prestige. 
you still got to stand in front of God. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. You still got to stand in front of him. How you doing? You still got to stand in front of him. Because he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he told me to tell you to repent while you can. Hallelujah. Y'all playing. Hell is real. And if you do not serve God, hallelujah, where do you think you're going? Stop playing that game. Because on this earth, you can have all the riches and fame and everything you think you want. But when it's over, you close your eyes. You got to meet your maker for real. What you going to do when he call for you? Hmm? Sitting up there playing money, honey, and funny. Yeah, that's what y'all doing. And the devil just enticing you because he know what you like. He been watching us our whole life. He know what you like. He know what I like. He knows what trying to, to is a lust. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, lust of money. James chapter 1 says, God don't tempt you because God cannot be tempted with evil. You are tempted when you are drawn away by your own desires, your own lust. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. And that's what the television did. Gave us lust. I want to be her. I want to be him. I want to do that. I want to do that. I said it too. I want to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Well, that didn't happen. And I'm glad it didn't because who knows who I be. Hallelujah. You, you ought to thank God for what didn't happen. I'm serious. Since a little girl, you know we saw Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. They were the prettiest, the sexiest. That wasn't my story. Even when I worked for the FBI. Yeah, I worked for the FBI. And I was uh, in college. Oh, trust me. I was a totally different person, y'all. Because I was really trying to be of this where I wanted to be. That, and I know I could do it because I was smart enough to do it. Still smart. Hallelujah. God changed that. God changed that whole medium. God changed that whole medium. I went the whole different way. Way of crime, you want to know the truth. I don't know how that happened. I guess he said, you can't be this. But I need you to be that. And I used to get mad at my uh, at my experiences. And, and, and that's another thing. People, people would try to hold you. People would try to hold you to your past. I used to be so embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed anymore. I did some bad stuff. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I hurt some people and I asked God to forgive me. And he already has. Quit letting people hold you captive of your past. Hallelujah. The devil is a lie. Because guess what? It was my past that made me last. Somebody write that in the comments. If I had not gone through that stuff, I wouldn't be strong in the Lord. Stop apologizing for who God made you to be using your experiences. Hallelujah. I don't know how I went there. I just feel the power of God. I'm just gone. You know, my eyes get big. That's, that's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. God said choose this day. The world's after you people. The world's after you. And some of y'all, it, 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 it got, I, I know it's Ebonics, but it is what it is. You didn't got lured with money, honey, and funny. Let me break the day. Break. Money, sex, lust. You better ask God to, to help you. That's what you better do. Because all that is not in about, <coughs> excuse me, you're trying to choke me. In about a little bit, all that ain't going to matter. Money can't save you. Sex can't save you. Houses can't save you. Yeah, they look good. Cars can't save you. Yeah, they drive good. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. You better change your minds. You better ask God to save you. You better save you. And what I mean by that, stop touching the unclean things, especially church people. You wonder why the church the church ain't got no power right now? Because you're just as bad as the ones out there. And you didn't brought it into the house of God. You didn't brought it into the house of God. And I didn't know I was going to prophesy because when the spirit moved you, but I, but I feel it coming on. God say, choose this day before you die in your iniquity, pastors, preachers, and teachers. I see you falling down day in pulpits on these lives, playing with God. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with God. You better play with a man or a woman, but don't play with God. Y'all playing with God too much, God say. And I told you in another lie, God has a throne. It's made of real pretty gold. It's that thick gold. I ain't never saw nothing like it before. He showed it to me. He's not sitting down. 
God is actually standing. And that's not a good thing. And a lot of people say, God is not. And I'm so tired of these fake pastors. God ain't mad at you. <laughs> God is a God of order. And he's a holy God. He mean what he say and he say what he mean. You will not inherit the kingdom of God unholy. Period. In the story. I don't care how good you are. Because some of you are like, well, I'm a good person. I ain't never killed nobody. I never did this and that. Okay, that's good. But have you done what God asked you to do? Have you repented for your sins? Or do you think you can just get by? Because people are dying. I'm going to say it again. People are dying. People are dying. And without God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Oh, this is a hard message this morning. I already know it. I already know it. I feel it. Because what you don't understand, I preach it to myself too. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So now that we know how they're entering in, let me tell you what you do. When I'm taking my class, doing my classes, I pray over my computer. I, I, I ain't trying to be funny, but I know demons be watching too. They're always, the Bible says evil is always present. They're always watching you, trying to catch you. <laughs> what? Sending this one, sending that one. So I pray over my computer. I pray over myself. I even pray over my ears. Oh, heck, y'all might think I'm crazy. I really don't care. Sometimes I pray over my eyes. I don't, now you have to be wise, right? Father God, just protect my eyesight. Father God, let me speak no guile. It's real like that. Then when it came into the church and, and stopped everything. I remember in, in the 70s when it started. Oh, y'all need to do all that. Y'all need to have a prayer call. Y'all don't need to pray all night. Oh, oh no, y'all can start wearing sharp dress. God said, come as you are. Trusted the scriptures. Trusted the scriptures. So now we have a mess and no message. Somebody write that in the comments. We have a mess and no message of God. The kingdom. The kingdom. He said, preach the kingdom. He said, preach the kingdom. The kingdom is supposed to come down on earth. And hold on. I'm not talking about in the last hour where, no, no, no. I'm talking about, he said, bring my presence to the earth. Bring my power to the earth. Through you. But you got to be a pure man and woman of God. And I, and, and I don't know why God going to let me go here, but I got to go here. And don't, don't trip. I know what it's like. I did drugs, drink, everything. I, I never did shoot up. I was scared of needles. So I know what it's like to be consumed. It took me so long to stop drinking because that was, that was, my, that was my pain relief. That was my band-aid after getting molested, after getting beat by so many men so many times, having sex with me, raping me. Oh, hallelujah, y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. So that was my fix. I, I, I know I can't really get it up my mind, but if I just had a drink or, or some weed or, or cocaine. So I know what it's like to be bound. But I also know what it's like to be freed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And that's where we come in. One touch from God. One touch from God will change your whole life, your walk, your talk, and everything. We're supposed to be giving people what matters. Do you know Jesus Christ of Nazareth? And we do it through the way we live, the way we walk, the way we talk. They should see some Jesus. If they don't see no Jesus in you, then you are alive before God. And the truth ain't in you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I know, I know, I know, I know this is a hard message. I know. So, I'm not going to keep going over the same thing. God bless you. God keep you. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. You know, I don't know why. I'm not going to release a name. I saw this pastor. Um, he, Me and his wife is friends. I'm going to say this like this because... When it happened, y'all going to come back to this video and remember it. And some of you going to remember it. Death is all over this pastor. And he did something. I remember when he did it. Because I did a video about it. And I saw him. I said, God, you feel like he's dying. God said, he is. It hurt my spirit. Because this man could sing. This man, he was once anointed. And I don't glorify when I see stuff like that. It hurts my spirit. 
I said, God, what he did? He said, he touched the unclean thing, Deanna. Just remember, because this is going to happen soon. I can't say his name right now. That would be disrespectful to his family and him. <sighs> this is not a game. I don't know what else I can tell y'all. This is not a game. What you sow, you will reap. Period. Me, you, it doesn't matter. You get away with nothing. You can't live like hell and say, God, I want to go to heaven. It cannot be done. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So I'm going to do my part. I'm going to teach it. I'm going to live it. And love people back to life. That, that's, that's where we're at. Because we all have done wrong. And truth be, truth be told, we still do wrong. And I'm not talking about like blatant and wrong. Just maybe a thought, a word, an action. Don't like people. Because y'all good at that. Y'all wonder why the world acting crazy? Look what's going on in the church. <laughs> Look what's going on in the church. It's a business. Even the gospel music. Yeah, I got I, I got them, offered them contracts. I don't even know if I, I want to be with anyone because I don't like what I see. It's all about business. It's not about ministry. <laughs> it's about souls and, and that's what I'm going to leave you with when I asked God one day I said God what is the most important thing to you I never forget he said souls Deanna the souls that are perishing without me God don't care about you this and that and I'm not saying he's not concerned but his main thing is souls have you witnessed lately have you evangelized lately are you trying to build your little mini kingdom? <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on all of us. All right, I'm going to get up on here. No, I got to say a prayer first. Whew. Father God, I pray for everybody that looks at this video. I pray that they get wisdom, discernment, understanding from you, God. I pray that they understand that the time is nigh. God told me to tell you, say, you're coming back soon. And that's nothing when you tell people, that, oh, they've been saying that. <laughs> he's still coming. Come on, somebody. So, Father God, I pray that people get a, a sense of urgency in their spirit, a seriousness to understand. Playtime over with God. It's time to love each other back to life, forgive each other, walk in love, agape love, unconditional love. The enemy is, is inducing fear, hate, and anger, and rage, trying to make us kill each other. That's the whole thing. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And I sever it to the root of that thing by the Spirit of God, as the prophet of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so. Hallelujah. God said, know your spiritual authority. Walk in it. Talk in it. Move in it. Jesus said, because I go to my Father, you should do greater works. The greater works are here. Hallelujah. Oh, God, keep us. Protect us. We need you, God. We lead you, God. We love you. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. I decree and declare it to be so. I say that this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This particular video, and there are some like it, but it's something about this video. I feel the power of God. Everybody that's looking at this video, receive the power of God. Receive healing. Receive deliverance. Receive a true repentance in your heart to start and to turn that thing around. God said, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. It's not too late. It's not too late. You still got breath in your body. Repent to God. And some people you need to repent to, God says too. Some of you, you're holding hate and anger. That's what's making people act crazy and kill each other. Hate, anger, disappointment, hurt. That's, there it is. There it is, God said, hurt emotions I come against that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth healing to your hurt healing to your emotion healing in the name of Jesus I decree and declare to be so I thank you God we give you honor and we give you praise in Jesus Christ's name amen 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 the power of God is real and it's all over this video it's all I didn't know he was going to do this like this thank you Jesus it's not Deanna it's not Deanna it's not Deanna I'm a servant it's God hallelujah do what you want to do. Save your people, God. 
God said, I will redeem my people. Once again, saith God. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. They can't stop it. They can't stop it. I'm going to say it again. They can't stop it. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.